sealed contra hardcore. Yo, that is sick. Yo, and a half. This is just a crazy start for Ricky and I. I also spotted another one of my favorite games. It's shocking how light the original Mario doll is. We got Blaster Master. We got Fire and Ice. It's right there. We got Fire. Let's go. I think we just bought like 60 to 100 NES games. It was about 12 years ago. My best friend and I, we embarked on an enchanting adventure together. The creation of a YouTube channel that would serve as a tribute to the magic of retro video games and the treasures of our nostalgic past. In the broad, vast world of collectibles, we held a singular passion close to our hearts. NES games. The timeless gems of that Nintendo Entertainment System that reignited our childhood love for gaming. Our journey, fondly named the NES Pursuit, was not just a show, it was a heartfelt pursuit of joy. Week after week, we delved into the nooks and crannies, hunting for every NES game that whispered echoes of our youth. RC Pro Am. I don't know if people like this game too much or not. I personally did. I know it was made by Rare. Awesome. It was one of my favorite games as a kid. The NES was not just a console. It was something we cherished, offering an escape from family troubles, school stress, and a place to go when we were done skateboarding. It wasn't merely a gaming system. It was the architect of our identities as gamers. Now, despite an unwavering goal to collect every Nintendo game, obstacles emerged. Challenges like limited funds, a lack of connections in the gaming community, and our novice hunting skills only stood in our way. Yet, our determination preserved. As collectors, we found ourselves falling in love with other various treasures along our journey. A wide range of other consoles, toys, signs, vintage clothing, VHS tapes, and more. However, I miss these newfound passions, which were great and exciting. There was still a bittersweet moment. Our NES collection, the very heart of our show, and the console that defined us became a sacrifice to fund our evolving interests. The guilt of parting with the NES, the console of our childhood dreams, and the inspiration behind our show weighed heavy on our hearts. But today, today heralds a new beginning. Armed with experience, financial wisdom, and a profound appreciation for collecting, we embark on a journey of redemption. It's time to make amends, to breathe new life into what we once started. There are no limits or arbitrary rules. Just two best friends traversing the United States, rediscovering and paying homage to the treasure of our childhood. Welcome to the rebirth of the NES Pursuit. Today we're at a place called the Rhodium. We're on the look for NES games. I'm looking for Super C. I'm looking for Metroid. Let's see what we find. Let's go. First booth has a lot of pops right here. You got Tim Murphy with Velociraptors. I love me some Jurassic Park, some Boba Fett, Avatar pops, Rick and Morty pops down there. Curtis, you find anything yet? Is that a Pac-Man plug and play? I, there's one of those holds value. I'm not sure if it's that one, but it, oh, it's on, it works too. I think that might be one of the ones that actually holds some, some decent value on it. Uh, oh. <gasps> also, just so you guys know, we thought it'd be really fun to relaunch the episode and relaunch the show by coming to a completely new swap meet that we have no experience, no nothing, just kind of jumping into it head first, having fun, and it already feels amazing doing so. That one I can rip her. 30. 30? What about the headset right there? That one? Yeah. 30. 30, 30? Here we go. Ricky, what do you think of my... my I, I think this was a great deal. I didn't even barter with her. 60 bucks for both. I have plenty of friends who want this kind of stuff. I think... I actually like that. That's cool. It's an official Xbox. Dude, you know what, Ricky? For you, 70 for just this. Ooh, since I just got that Xbox stuff, I can buy some Halo stuff right here, too. Awesome. Ooh, 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 ooh Ricky, my boy, what you see over here? Same Sonic. Sonic? I actually much more excited for the Rayquaza. Yeah, the Rayquaza, bro. He almost bought it, but it was ripped. We were about to call you Rick Quaza. Dude, it was, it was four bucks. You like that, Chris? Good. You like that, Ben? How's that joke? That was pretty good. That was pretty good. good. One out of one? <laughs> what was it? Dude, I was like, Nightmare on Elm Street, the hand. Oh, no. but what about this up here? 
the alien. Yeah? Let's see if anything's in there. Is alien in here? Yeah. He's in there. Dude, these are dope. Oh my. Oh, 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 look, and then you got... Oh my goodness, let me see. <laughs> wow, those are huge. Look at the Thor. Thor with no hammer. Glass. Thor with no hammer is like Ricky yeah. with no churro. I'll ask about this in a second. Is that the Titanfall statue? Oh my. They have cool gaming stuff. All right, this could be this could be good, my friends. This could be good. Who sent you? Who? Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to get this. He's going to do 25 for me. Super cool. I like it. I'm going to pick it up. It's super clean, by the way. It's like... Dare I say mint condition. Curtis just knocked something over. And then he said, he just told me he has the nun from The Conjuring. I do like horror stuff, actually. How much was this one? Same price? Yeah, this is really cool. I think I might get it too as well. This is really awesome. The Conjuring universe. But look at this. There's also a bunch of like movies down here. Babe. I used to love Babe. Thelma and Louise. Forget Paris. City, Slick City Slickers 2. Speed. Ooh. A dollar each, you said. X Files. That's actually uh, really a dollar each. So check, I was actually really surprised. These are all laser disc. Dang. And he said a buck each on them for laser disc. Look, I got X Files, Ooh, City, City Slickers, oh, Speed, yes. more X Files, different variation, Robin Hood, and Major League. But all of them. Major League. No and movie. then check. Did you see this one? So that's I got sick. these two. I didn't so, see the that's awesome. What, a, what that's that was a, sick. This this new swap meter. I got. Games, I got toys, I got laser discs. This That's is cool. we just started. But I need Ooh. NES games. <laughs> <laughs> right here, look, little secret. Ricky, actually you might have to pull this out, my hands full. There's a little DS case just found. Let's see, there's a charger behind it. How do you even open this thing? Oh, oh whoa. That is like a built-in case. That Dude, is wild. Why is it giant? That thing is <laughs> wild. Check this out, y'all. We didn't even show you guys, but we got like a hoop ton of shirts and all cool ones like Hulkamania, but I like these. Look at this. Beavis and Butthead, they're just golfing. And it's even on an official Beavis and Butthead tag. So got these for a really good deal. We're not going to show you guys too much clothes because, uh, you know, we're not on the the stitching pursuit today this thing is wild this is the wildest mario this is i love how weird it is i know it's probably oh yeah this is like straight up mexico did aunt hamica make this hey we're going back i'm gonna say it now we're going back to the old nes pursuit days that's we made these kind of jokes we're going back to 2012 humor as well all right no let's cancellations allowed here on this channel let's go we're gonna take you back to the past Let me see, let me see. Let's go. That You know, that feels like Nintendo. You know, like NES Pursuit, this feels, it's shocking how light the original Mario doll is. Like this is light I know as I'm a feather. It. I thought it'd be heavy. You getting it? No way. No. Ricky found one of these like a few weeks ago and we've never seen one in our life, but that's, that's a fan robot. The eyes light up when you turn it on too. <laughs> that is actually crazy. That is sick. That Yo. is so sick, dude. Wow, I love that a lot, actually. What the? Ricky! Holy moly! Look at the size of this! Yo! That is sick. Yo and a half! Wow, okay. I gotta ask him how much this is. That is beautiful. A giant God of War Kratos Ultimate Collector's one fourth scale action figure. We also just got wind that there is a video game vendor coming around the booth that we've never been to in our lives. So this will be exciting. Ricky, have you seen the tour what they look like? Look, it looks like the original set. So if you look at the original tour of this, Dude. that is what their costumes look like back in the day. That's actually like <laughs> unbelievably awesome. Wow. I was looking at this, this thing is sexy. That's a really cool crane right there. Look at that alien though. The size of him. Wow. Oh my like little time still comes God. Out. My kryptonite is these turtles in time figures. Every time I see the branding on them, like this on the back, it just gets me. I got Shredder, Foot Soldier, Leatherhead, like the coolest boss ever. Uh, actually, this Michelangelo, maybe I'll pass on. I was gonna get it, but it's dented. And then that really cool crank. In to the cart and off to, the, uh, to that vendor booth, hopefully to find some NES games. Let's see what we got. The NES. You know what the best part about this is, Ricky? We own very few of those. Very few. Very few. And the reality is, they're just ones you got to get. But the best part about the NES is so many of these are fun games anyway. WrestleMania right here. Just a fun, beautiful game. Have to. 
you. It's a must. It's a must. Carnop, it's a must. It is a must. How's the label, though? Uh, there's a little writing on it, but the label actually looks beautiful. Otherwise... Must Ricky right here. Do you like 720? I don't remember. I get it confused. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a uh, it's a fun one. Okay, I think also. Ooh, Ricky. What is it? Oh, yes. You know, even though we're at the oh, beginning stages, yes. let's go dodgeball. I mean, Ricky, you can, they can see. Watch, hold this. Technos Japan is my thing, right there. That's beautiful. But Ricky, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I also spotted another one of my favorite games, right here. How? Prisoners of War. <laughs> SNK, the music. You gotta check it out. You gotta play it. You know, oh NES gosh. Pursuit. We got a long way to go. <laughs> we, have, we have about C720. It's about how many games we got about left to go. So it begins. Probably more <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah. Better look for you guys. Dodgeball, Prisoners of War, WrestleMania Challenge, Karnov, Double Dribble, 720, Hogan's Alley, Volleyball, Slalom, Tecmo, Baseball, The Triple Pack, Mock Rider, and Golfiness. <laughs> How much, how much did you want for it? So it's 2024 and we're still here with the amazing Squarespace, a wonderful platform on which you create your website. You gotta love Squarespace's online store. You can sell your products in an online store. Whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. They also have a really cool asset library. Upload, organize, and access all your content from one place. With the new asset library, you're able to manage all your files from one central hub and use them across the Squarespace platform. Get started with one of our professional website templates with designs for every category and use case. Then customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs. You can make any Squarespace template do what you want. So your idea, brand, or business stands out online on every device. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixel game squad to save 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. How, much, how much did you want for it? Three years. Oh. I think I like 15 years for this one. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that, no, I don't need that one. But I am doing less than $10 each, so. All right, important okay. lesson for people, the community, myself, everybody. So the prices were not good there. But when I looked through and I went and looked, here's a rule I need to teach myself. And I, I don't want to sound a certain way, but it's just the truth. Just because I have money doesn't mean I'm going to spend money that doesn't make sense. So I ended up getting Karnov and Hogan's Alley. Hogan's Alley is five screw. Two great games, two fun games. I actually very much recommend Hogan's Alley. And I gotta say, Karnov being a final boss in the first level of Bad Dudes is just such a fun thing, a fun part of my life. And these are the first two games going back in to the NES Pursuit. What? What? Five bucks each sealed. I am being dead quiet right now. Oh my, there's those, thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. Those are mine. Oh, those are your yeah. personal? Yeah. Oh, he's got a personal oh, N64 like, oh. back there. N64 and an NES. Oh, that would have been perfect. Oh, oh dude. It's got, oh man, Street Fighter Cross Transformers? I have it. I bought one. How much did you get it for? 40. Wow, that's really cool, dude. Holy cow. Wow, look at all. That's a lot of video game right there. That, what? I don't know what, that was weird. He was fully aware of what he had, but I'm, I'm going to show you guys right here really quick. But check it out. So he was like five bucks each straight up. Like, yeah, that's what they are, dude. I know what I have. But I'll be honest. Go put me in full reseller mode. I don't care. That pays for all the NES games that I'm going to be getting, getting today. By the way, we're going to be getting more NES games. We got lead of possibly from Curtis buying a bunch off him. So it's happening. NES games are coming. Five bucks each sealed. These are all uh, 30 bucks. Every single one of these sells for 30 bucks. This is in there. Persona, sealed. Ghostbusters, sealed. Destroy all humans. Super Monkey Ball, big box, sealed. What a cool That's start. Nuts. And nuts. See, NES Pursuit this time around, but in the end, I'll be spending no money. Nothing. Those NES games that I buy today will cost me nothing in the end. We've learned, Ricky. There we go, now dead back <laughs> And there's Ricky's. I thought you, when I saw that, Ricky, I was like, that is so cool. You're like, I already got it. <laughs> that That's thing's like, sick. And what do you pay, what'd you pay on it? 40? M. Bison Megatron. How cool is that? Then Optimus Prime Ryu. I didn't realize that was Ryu. Okay, that's actually much, Dude, much cooler than I was cool. thinking. Yeah. Ricky, yeah. I don't know how to tell you this, man, but we got ourselves a collection worth $22 right now. Woo! We are big Hogan's Alley, Five Screw, and Carnob. Ricky, where are we going? We're going to, we're going to go eat, have breakfast at some place over here on Crenshaw. Looks good. We're going to try it. We just passed El Taco, though, and I was like, 
Dang, we should have That would have been there. perfect. Now, we do have NES games coming today. Yeah, we, we do. We got a lead. It's happening. We're getting NES games. So, it's not just going to be Hogan's Alley and Carnival, which I will say are great games. They're great games. But it's time for more. You guys don't know. I see how excited we we haven't been this excited I, I in a long talk. time. So excited. Ricky and I were like giddy kids bringing back this show. Because if you don't know, the NES Pursuit was like obviously hunting down NES games, finding them, but now we want to complete the collection. But what we really liked is it was more like through our day as well. It was a little bit more vloggy, but with game hunting. So it just felt like our lives. Doing some trades tonight with our buddy Mike. You guys know the reseller. So uh, we're going to see what he has. There he is. There he is. That thug. His names. That hoodlum. The names, Mike. Oh, baby. Here we go to Classics on Crenshaw. It reminds me of like an old radio station. <laughs> like, I'm pulling up to hear some Temptations live on the five. Is Curtis here yet? Turn right. Oh, oh there he is. Then the homeless guy? Yeah. Ooh, Ricky said that's what he wants. What? The big beefer. <laughs> Do I smell something weird? Oh wait, there he is. Hey Curtis. <laughs> I love Curtis. For all those who think we joke with Curtis, it's literally because we, we love him. We love Curtis. We love Curtis and Ben. Oh, Ricky must have been in this one five minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, Dang it. When I took that bite, I spilt all over myself. Ooh, I look like a bum all day. <laughs> Ricky, how's your burrito? It's actually good. A chocolate shake. First thing in, look at this. A chocolate shake with a hamburger. Whitest breakfast ever. A chorizo burrito with horchata for breakfast. Brownest breakfast ever. <laughs> yes, we fit the stereotypes. So we probably should have said we are gonna rebuild a giant game wall of NES games. And I, awesome. I wanna put like other NES stuff related on it too as well, not just Good stuff. the full set of NES games that we're gonna get, but also like other memorabilia that's, that's Nintendo era, not like Super Nintendo. I want like NES, Nintendo, original wall. So it's gonna be awesome. Oh, and we're literally on our way to get NES games right now. Oh yeah, let's go. Okay, this is this is literally top secret mission right now for the NES Pursuit, this couldn't be cooler. Just got a phone call when we were on our way to Curtis's storage to buy NES games, that right now we are going to buy NES games, but the seller, he doesn't want us giving away his location or filming anything in there. So when we come back, we'll probably be in there for like an hour, two, three hours, and hopefully we come back with a bunch of games. I think we just bought like 60 to 100 NES games. Ricky and I just bought, and we probably came home with about that, and maybe 400 PS3, PS2, Super Nintendo, and 64 games. So we're gonna have to show you guys in a little bit. It'll probably be hours from now, even possibly tomorrow when we get to show you guys this, because we gotta get this stuff out, kind of clean it. Well, maybe not clean it, but look at it all. So we'll get to you soon. It's gonna be quick, ready? Okay, so we just got to my house. This is the stuff I got at the swap meet earlier, right? Swap meet stuff. But now it's time. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, show them this. Show them this thing I got. I, I should show break. Show me right now. Pull that out, bro. Whip it out, bro. Whip it out. <laughs> Let's go. That thing and that thing is legit by by all means. So we have only just begun, and I'm talking just begun. So here we go. Illusion of Gaia, Mint Condition, CIB, Majora's Mask, CIB, uh, Mario Kart 64, CIB, Star Tropics. Guys, this is all going into the Nintendo collection. NES Pursuit is back at full throttle. Let's go. There is, so oh my gosh, look at this. Guys, I mean, we paid, I mean, you can imagine how much money we spent, but we paid 70%. There is so much stuff here that I can just talk. Well, look at this. Oh my God, what other NES game we got here? <laughs> Karate Champ, Big Banger, Vita games, PS4 games, 3DS games, tons of PlayStation games. Okay, guys, I will, Ricky's been, oh boy, it's the <laughs> NES Pursuit. Let's go. This is starting off hot. We are not here to mess around this time around. Here you go. We're gonna uh, keep pulling out more and we'll show you guys as they come. Oh, but look, hi. Uh, things around the house. More stuff, what do we got? Oh, sealed right there. Oh, wait, 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 Ricky, wait a sec. Sealed Contra Hardcore and Sealed Bloodline. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, bro, and he has pursuits over. He lasted for one day. Here is where we're at right now. And it's hard to go through everything when you buy this much stuff at once. Uh, again, the vendor just didn't want us saying, they didn't want to be left on camera. Bags of Amiibos right here. Famicom Disk System in the box. This is a grail right here. Just tons of Genesis games. Ricky and I are gonna go through some things. I'm gonna show you guys some behind the scenes stuff right now. What, what was the last one you just showed me? <laughs> Let's go. There's your the tattoo, The game bro. of games, my tattoo. There, I mean, Ricky, I just saw that you. Y'all, it, it's time to give you guys like the biggest updates of your life that you weren't expecting. So 15 foot shed is being built right now. We haven't talked about this on the main channel at all. 15 foot shed is gonna be going right here in this entire giant area. And the reason is, is this shed has been fixed. New roof, new flooring, new walls, new drainage. Everything is in place for that to be our game room and NES Pursuit room, basically for our NES Pursuit wall and for our podcast studio. Which is huge for us because if you guys remember my flood shedded, my flood shedded, wow, my shed flooded. It was wild, it was crazy, but Ricky, this is our start. Day one, this is day one NES Pursuit. Now I'll say some of the more notables, Star Tropics, Mega Man 3, Battletoads, Akari Warriors 2, just also games, may not even be valuable necessarily, but games we love, Blaster Master, Double Dragon 2, Little Nemo, Crystallis, Contra, Worm, Fire and Ice, Wow, Lone Ranger, Trog, Buck Your Hair, Crystal Palace, Lolo, River City Ransom, and guys, these are a lot more of the commons, as they say, but all ones we're gonna need to get started. We were not expecting. Now I will say, this is just a crazy start for Ricky and I. It's not gonna always be able to be like this. No. Where we're like, and he has pursued, we got a hundred games today. Uh, this was- It might be two at a time. <laughs> and when I say this was unexpected, I mean, we were driving about to get off and not go on a freeway. And we got a phone call from a person who was like, I wanna sell them to you. And we like veered off of the freeway like, yeah. <laughs> So. It was awesome. Guys, I wanna show you something. It's still bare bones, it's not ready, but we're working on it. This is gonna be the podcast studio. All this is coming out. This giant wall, Ricky, yeah. is gonna be our NES Pursuit wall, just like freaking back in the day. Yeah. That, that's why if you notice in the video, I asked about Dick Tracy before, then Mega Man, then Karnov after, so it just kind of throws him off. And guys, we're not going for CIB, but if we find him, CIB will buy him. But we are taking, you guys see how beautiful these look? Not all of these have games in them. I have been working with a company called miniboxgaming.com. You guys, they are some of the coolest boxes you can ever imagine. Uh, Ricky, we did get Bucky O'Hare hair loose. So we get to put Bucky O'Hare in these beautiful cases. There's just a filler game in there. I was right gonna now. say, I was like, dude, there's a game in here. <laughs> it's a filler <laughs> game I had. Uh, River City Ransom, we just got Ricky. Boom, this is gonna go. Guys, I'm telling you, Mini Box Gaming, not only a cool person, these boxes are just exactly the size of an NES game. I'm not sponsored, we're not getting anything from it. They go exactly, but you guys see how beautiful they look on a shelf. I mean, look at that. Ricky, we got Blaster Master. We got Fire and Ice, it's right there. We got Fire, let's go! We got Contra, oh, that's Contra Force. We got Little Nemo Dream Master. <laughs> this, guys, I'm telling you guys, this is gonna all start happening, and it's just gonna happen quick, and we are so, so, so excited to do this. All right, Ricky, while well, the boys build the shed back there, Ricky, insert our first game <laughs> from the NES Pursuit into our mini box. Oh, baby. Oh my gosh. Look at that. This is so Let's go, great. there it is. Bucky O'Hare looking beautiful. Ricky, do the honors of River City Ransom up next. I, Here you go. I feel like you have to do this one, man. This oh, is, you you this got is, it, bro, you got it. You. you slide it in, you take one down, you pass it in. I love how these look from the side. Look at that, Benjamin. Look at that side hit. So while Ricky's working on the NES games and gonna, we're gonna get everything here for now on our tiny little shelf until we build this when the shed's done, I wanted to direct your attention to this. This I have framed, my wife got this framed for me years ago. This was a piece of paper when I worked in a nuclear plant where I decided, when Ricky and I decided to start a show, this is the piece of paper that I started writing ideas. Welcome at the Swap Meet, intro montage of music with Ricky and I, logo with music, Swap Meet footage, look, need funny. And it's unreal that we're here now doing this the way we are, and I have to point this out too. I mean, thank you guys, this is just, this is a crazy moment. We're gonna get these games on this shelf for now, little janky shelf just for now until that wall becomes our NES hub.
many did we say, Ricky? 85. So after moving some things around, and we might not be perfect because there might be a double or two, we're in the middle of doing the shed and building out this, we're looking at about 85 games to start the NES Pursuit. And I'm talking with some good ones, as you guys saw. Games like Fire and Ice, Bucky O'Hare, River City Ransom, Mega Man 3, Battletoads, Star Tropics, and more. But there's one more.